Hi, and welcome to the Home Assistant How-To with Beardy Thinker. Today, we are going to integrate Twitch. We'll start in a couple of seconds. In today's episode, we are going to integrate with the Twitch, so we can get information about our favorite streamers when they are online. I presume that you already have a Twitch account. And the next thing that we have to do is we have to create a new app in the Twitch Developer Portal. Let's go to Twitch Developer Portal. If you are already logged in, next thing that will pop up when you open the link will be this window asking you to authorize Twitch Developer to access your account. Let's give it authorization. There is also one prerequisite and it will not allow you to register your app if you do not have set up inside your Twitch account two-step uh, authentication. So if you do not have two-step authentication, you can go to your Twitch account, go to your settings, uh, security settings, and there you can enable two-factor security. You will have to install the application on your mobile device. And this is one of the prerequisites. I already have it, so let's go and register our application. Let me try to figure, let's try bearded home assistant. We will be trying to use HTTP localhost. We will select a category, it will be website integration. And I will, yeah, I'm not a robot. And let's try and press create. We now have our application. Let's copy our client ID. And now we can go back to the Home Assistant and finish configuring everything there. In Home Assistant, let's go to VS Code or Configurator if you are still using it. Let's go to our sensor CML file. And at the bottom of the sensor CML file, let's add Twitch. Platform will be Twitch. And here now you have to define your uh, client ID. Let's try and use secrets for that. So it will be client ID secret Twitch. ID. We must not forget to add our Twitch ID to the secrets file. And next is, of course, the list of the channels that we want to monitor. So, channels. And let's add some channels. Dr. Z's bearded thinker. And that should be it. Uh, don't forget to add your Twitch ID to your secrets file. And after you've edited your secrets file, let's go to configuration, server control, check configuration. And if everything is okay, let's press restart. And our server is back online. Let's now add our Twitch integration. So let's go to Overview, Configure UI, and add, let's add let's add a new entities card called Gratis Twitch Streamers. Let's remove this header and let's add Dr. Z and Bearded Thinker. Save. And here we have now our Twitch streamer sensor, giving us information if our favorite streamer is online or not. Dr. Z is offline and Billy Tinker is offline. Of course, Billy Tinker, aka me, still hasn't had any stream on the Twitch, but you never know. 
of course now you will be able to create automation let's go to configuration automations and let's create now automation let's press plus sign let's skip this let's give it a name dr z's is streaming we will be tracking uh, state for dr z sensor uh, for the state i think we have to type here online hopefully i'm not sure what twitch sends as information when somebody is streaming hopefully since now he's offline it will be online and now let's call notification service let's call our telegram bot build it bot and let's send us a message dr z is streaming and let's press save okay so we have uh, created new automation tracking sensor dr z's when it changes for, to online we will receive a telegram notification let's go back to automations let's go back to server control check configuration let's reload automations and we have here our new automation okay for the test purposes I will now get Dr. Z to start the stream. Hey Dr. Z, start the stream. As soon as the trigger value changed from offline to online, we received notification inside Telegram. Of course, I'm just kidding, Dr. Z didn't start streaming, I just used execute to trigger automation. I hope that you find this integration useful. So you can add more of your favorite Twitch streamers here. Hopefully one day I'll do a stream or two, depending if there is interest or not. But thank you once again for watching Home Assistant How To with Bearded Thinker. If you have any kind of a comment or a question, please leave it down below in the comment section. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button. And I wish to really thank from bottom of my heart to all the subscribers so far, I managed to pass 1k mark this weekend. Hopefully 2k will be by next weekend or a couple of months in the future. Yeah, but this is it for today's Home Assistant How-To. I'll see you next time. Until then, bye-bye and have fun.